remains perhaps the most painted and photographed landmark in Delray Beach. You only have to look as far as the Lois Brzezinski Gallery just outside the hotel. The dome mm. and the flags and the archways, there's just so many different elements from an artistic point of view that make that building very interesting. We last visited with acclaimed painter Lois Brzezinski in the Cayman Islands. Today, she lives and paints in Delray Beach. A friend of mine lived in Boca Raton and had been urging me to come to Florida, and I said, no, 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 Florida is not my kind of place. But we came to Delray Beach for lunch, and immediately I felt at home. I saw a guy carrying a surfboard up the street, a pretty little street scene, a place that looked like a village. What has drawn your eye as an artist here? I love the architecture. I love the textures, the colors, the arches. There's a distinctive light to the tropics. The way light hits buildings and foliage, that just is magic. Even when it's in your own backyard. As soon as the color hits the paper and it starts to spread and I put my brush in another color, it's still a wonderful, a wonderful part of my life, yeah. Truth is, Delray Beach has long been a haven for artists of all kinds and it retains an unusually vibrant and inviting art scene today. What do you think that is? Maybe it was the architecture. You know, artists are drawn to things that are a little off the grid. And Delray was that. And I think Delray was that, yeah.